and list 2 and uh, they are sorted okay what we have to do is that we have to merge these two list into one sorted list so these two list we have to merge and create another new sorted list itself so the list should be made by splicing together the nodes of the first two list return the head of the merged list like this right so the problem is you know is problem statement is pretty clear only like what the expectation is for example here if you will see so we are having two list um uh, 1 2 4 and list 2 is 1 3 4 so these are the nodes don't get confused it is not array these are the nodes so we are having the nodes 1 2 4 1 3 4 so now these two linked list you are having you have to combine them and form a new linked list itself so here you can see you are getting 1 1 2 3 4 4 right the new list the new sorted list and that's what we have to return right some checks that you can do from your end itself is that if both the list itself are empty right they are null so just simply return a new a new list right an empty list would be returned obviously and if uh, see list 1 is empty and list 2 is having some data then obviously list 2 you have to return if list 2 is empty and list 1 is having some data then obviously you can directly return list 1 so these are the some common checks that you can provide to your code right So now coming to the main logic of solving this particular problem. So let's understand that. So here, uh, let's say L one is there, which is pointing to this list, right? So that we are having, and L two is the head node of this second list, L two linked list two that is given to us. L one is the head of the first list, and L two is the head of the second list, right? now uh, we have written a new list right so let's say we have we have taken a list let's say we have taken a list let's call it as l3 and as of now just we have added the dummy data to it right this is our list added dummy data to it now um, one pointer is pointing to it let's call it as res so this is the head node of our resultant list that we are going to return or let's call it as current current it is current right it is current right and this is our resultant list that we have to return okay so dummy data as of now we have added now we have to you know we have to form another sorted list list itself from this two list that is given to us so obviously we will compare the data so l1 and l2 right so we will check if l1 data is less than or equal to that of l2 data then obviously pick up the data of l1 so we what we will do so the condition is getting satisfied so we will take one so what we will do we will say okay current ka next current ka next current ka next let's say here we are this is our list this is current current ka next just point to just point to current ka next just point to l1 okay current ka next point to l1 because l1 is smaller or greater than less than equal to that of l2 data right and now we will update so l1 we are moving it towards next node l1 will be updated to l1 dot next and current also we are going to update so current initially was pointing to this node zeroth node so now current is pointing to this one right now now again we will check the same thing so l1 is here on this node having value 2 and l2 is still here only having this value 1 right so now which value is smaller which value is smaller which value is smaller one is smaller so we will say we will say current current ka next current as of now is pointing to what to this one so current ka next updated to l2 so now current is pointing to this one so its next will be updated to l2 
here its next would be updated to l2 and again the same thing that l2 we are going to move ahead so l2 would be l2 dot next and current previously it was pointing to this node one so now we are moving it ahead current equal to current ka next point towards current ka next so what is current ka next this one only right now before only we have updated no so current is pointing to this now current so l1 is pointing to node having the value 2 and l2 is pointing to the node having the value 3 which is smaller obviously this one right so again we will do the updation we will we will update the value of current as current ka next as current ka next as what value we are going to choose ki current ka next point to point to l1 so current connects is now towards this l1 okay towards this l1 and now l1 will be updated to l1 connects and current current was previously pointing to this one so it will be updated to current connects so current will be pointing to this two now current is here current is here so again we will check so at l1 we are having four And L two is still pointing to this value three, which is smaller, which is smaller. Obviously, three is smaller. So now we will update current ka next as L two. Ki current ka next, can you become uh, or can you point to L two now? So this is current. Current is as of now on two. So it's next. We are saying you point to L two. L two here, here, right. And now L two value will be updated to L two ka next, right? Okay. Again, we are going to do the comparison. So L one itself is okay. Okay, it is equal to that of L two only, right? So we will choose L one only. So again, the same thing we are going to do. So current as of now is pointing to this three, right? So we will say current ka next just be L one. So right, and then we will update the value of L one. So now next to it is null. So L one will be null now. L one will be null now. So we will again get into the loop. We will check. So this time L one is null. So we will stop. So if you will see what list we the link list that we have got is zero. See zero, then one, then one zero. We already we added from our end, right? Then one, then again a one, then this two, two, then this three, and then this four, right? But still this. node is yet to be processed so we will add this condition so there could be a possibility that l1 has ended but in l2 there are still some nodes or l2 has ended but in l1 there are still some nodes so if, if that is the case then obviously whatever is there in the l1 that would be a part of our list our resultant list right so we will check so l2 is, is still not equal to null so we will just say ki current ka next so current is pointing to this four now right so current ka next can you can you point to L two now. So, what is there in L two? L two, what is there in L two? This this is the only list we are having, right? In L two, this is the only list we are having. So four. And at the end, you know, in linked list, we have just a null node, right? So this is our resultant list. Sorry, sorry for my bad handwriting and the drawing as well, whatever. So yeah, this is our new list that has been formed, and we are going to return, return what? So in the starting itself, R E S. This res was pointing to our newly created list. So this node we have added from our end, right? So that's why we are going to return res connect because this is the actual list which is which has been formed by combining the given two list, right? So yeah, this was the approach. I hope you were able to understand. So the same the logic that we discussed now the same only we have implemented in the code. So now let's have a look on the code part and yeah, then we can wrap up. So the checks that I have told you, no, the checks that I have told you, you can just add it. As of now, I haven't added in the code. It's a good practice, right? So just add those checks to handle these cases, right? So here we are having our resultant uh, node, this node, and dummy data we have added zero. Now we will continue in the loop till the time n one not equal to null and n two not equal to null. So if n one dot well is less than or equal to n two dot well, so we are going to pick, we are going to choose n n one. So that's what we were discussing, right? While discussing the approach, so current ka next, let it be n one, and then we will update the value of n one as n one ka next, and current also we will update as current ka next, right? And if that is not the condition, means the node to which n two is pointing to, it is having the smaller value, so we will get into else condition. That current connects point to n two and update the value of n two as n two connects and current as current connects, right? So uh, even after the 
completion of this loop there could be a possibility that n1 is still remaining right because it's not given that there of this like obviously like yeah, there, there's a possibility that n1 is remaining or n2 is remaining or what is whatsoever so for that we have added this if n1 is not equal to null so current dot next become like point to n1 because yeah the all the remaining elements because n1 is already sorted right the given array is already sorted so whatever is remaining that we are part of our resultant list only if n2 not equal to null so current dot next equal to n2 and at the end you know we are why we are we are, we are returning result dot next res dot next because here we have added this dummy data from our end right yeah so yeah that's it from my side thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye i hope that you are maintaining the consistency and you are coding on the daily basis thank you bye